back from next year. I don't know what the deal is, but we're here to find out. We're done with the reception. Still under my dress. This kid's with me. We need to get food after this. I'm hungry. Jake's with the boys, getting gas in the car. Look, Hopefully I they're showered. fast. I showered last night and look at my hair, it's all greasy. It's because you have so much product in it. I have like nothing in it. She has a lot of product in it. Nothing. Anyways, just, so we're just kind of waiting to hear. Hopefully I didn't so do anything. I, hopefully I just sprained it. Wait, let me tell them what I I heard somebody throwing up. <laughs> I started gagging so bad. But I, they were like, Bleh. and I was like, <laughs> sitting here, and I was like, she can't handle puke noising. <laughs> the, the puking doctor, noises. The doctor was in here, and he is like, I was like, did, what, did somebody just puke? And he's like, welcome to the ER. And I was like, ew, that's so gross. I'm gonna throw up. And he's like, shh. She was loud too. She was like, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty good. Cause like, I'm not usually the one to like gag over something like stupid, like throwing up noises. But like, that was freaking disgusting. Cause it was too. She's still loud. Shut up. They were like, they were like, they're right. They're right. She's there. there. In there. She went in for surgery or something. <laughs> She's like, mom, 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 mom. She was like, it was so gross, and I was like, <laughs> she's like, I need to kill myself. <laughs> I was literally going to throw up. It was gross. It's funny. No, it Anyways, let's find out what, what's wrong. I wonder. Do you think? Do you think if I broke it? I I think you broke your ankle. I don't think you broke your knee. I think I cracked something. No. I don't know. I when you were in when you were in X-rays, I looked through the cracks between the in between the cracks and the. She peeked in between the cracks. This old man, he's still sitting there, but this old man is sitting there staring at the crack, and he's like. So I looked at him, and I was like. <laughs> when you get busted peeking. And then I was like, in my head, I was like. Um, awkward. <laughs> he was creepy. Too. He was like, she's over there. There's someone still there. What are you doing? What are you doing? She's trying to see through the Let's play on the doctor's chair. You can run that dress over. I'm in my place. I'm always in this place. You guys know where this is? My bed. You guys see me on my bed more than you don't. You know why? Not just because I'm lazy, but uh, maybe part, partly. A lot of the time, my legs throb like crazy and I gotta get them up. So, um, but now I have a new reason. <laughs> um, I showed a little bit yesterday. However, um, I uh, rolled my ankle pretty bad. In fact, I thought I broke it. I watched across the way where I was gonna go and I didn't look down and there was actually a small step or whatever apparently I missed and I rolled my ankle, landed um, to hold the camera up is killing me. My whole right side feels like I've been to the gym. Um, I've got water on my knee. I Does that sound bad? Doesn't even sound bad. Um, I landed on my knee really hard. I thought I broke my patella. If you don't know what a patella is, that's your kneecap. <laughs> I thought I broke it too, and along with my ankle. And so after the reception, or after everything, all the wedding stuff yesterday, um, we took Austin back to his new place, and uh, we went to the emergency room. <laughs> um, I needed to make sure that it wasn't broken, uh, and I hate going to the ER, especially when I find out that nothing's wrong. I wasn't sure, to be quite honest, because I felt a loud pop uh, when I did that, when I rolled my ankle. thought for sure I broke it. And um, anyways, so 
I waited till after everything was done, went to the ER and it's a really bad sprain and then I have fluid on my knee. So that isn't the worst news on a on the planet. Um, having fluid under your kneecap is bad, um, but the great news is is it's just swollen. Um, obviously, if it, if it gets more swollen, then I should be more concerned. But my ankle and my knee look amazing. Do you want to see? I'll show you. It's not really that big of a deal, but the swelling is pretty impressive. Um, and it really is killing right now, throbbing like a champ. And my knee is on fire. But um, anyways, I went to work today. And that's probably why, because I haven't kept my feet up and stuff like I've been told to do. Um, and the ice I keep, I had ice I started out with earlier, but ice, the ice didn't um, last long. It melts super fast, so I was just making a watery mess under my desk, so I gave up on that. But um, I don't know what to do other than I'm in bed. <laughs> And I can't miss work because then I'll be short in hours on my check. So I don't want to miss any work. Um, and also it helps my numbers. So I'm just trying to do the best I can. Anyhow, um, I will show you. Yeah, that's my ankle. <laughs> nice and swollen. You can kind of see the... Oh gosh, it hurts so bad. This side hurts really bad. Um, it's, but compared to this one, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it hurts, it hurts good, <laughs> and my knees, yeah, it's all nice and fine, kind of, right up in here, yeah, it's super swollen, I felt more embarrassed that Allie's parents came down the stairs and seen me laid out on the garage floor at the bottom of the temple, like in the basement. They have um, the parking garage, and I was like laid out on the ground. And of course, everybody comes to the rescue and brings more attention to it. And oh, it hurt so bad. I couldn't even move my foot. Like, I instantly, I was like, get my shoe on. Like, I had, yeah, I was in hills. Yes, I was in hills. Um, it wasn't the hills that was the problem. It was that I was uh, trying to walk straight when there was a stair. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, that was kind of embarrassing. A lot embarrassing, actually. And partly, I instantly, I wanted to be like, oh, no, I broke it. But I knew, even if I did break it, they'd have to wait for the swelling to go down before they could do anything. So there was no point in missing everything that was going on. I feel really bad because everybody else was cleaning when I f pretty much felt helpless and I feel bad about that, but I don't know what, there's nothing I could have done um, other than watch where I walked. <laughs> Oops. Anyway, stole Allie's day by falling on my face. Actually, I didn't actually fall on my face. Jake thought I did, but I didn't. Um... So I will be wearing a brace for the next, I don't know how long. Um, but they did say when it feels good and you can walk, you feel like you can walk without it, do it. Um, just go by what it feels. Um, I didn't break anything. It's just my ankle is super weak. And so I will be um, babying that for a little bit. I'm going to do some shout outs because we have a million people that deserve shout outs. Um, new subscribers and commenters. Um, we love you guys. So we are going to do some shout outs and we hope you guys um, tune in and that you're that you guys enjoy them too because I like pointing out, especially for the people that um, that we have learned to love uh, tons like Carl, Estes, and Daniel and Alex, you guys are always, you guys are so loyal to our family and we really do appreciate it. But let's get, let's get some other people on here, shall we? All right, you ready for some shout outs? Let's do this. So these are the comments that we've got over the last little bit and I have not commented back. So bear with me. Thank you, by the way, but here's your shout outs. Uh, Susan Deckard and Alex, Jen Dazed, Kimberly, um, 
Jai, Yai, I'm not sure how to say your last name. She has a super huge crush on Bridger. It's adorable. <laughs> um, Augustus Green, Philip Gibson, of course, our favorite Carl, um, Estes, Marissa Howerman, Daniel, Letty, Brandon from Vlog, Brandon from Vlog Epicness. I'm catching up to you, Brandon. Um, he's at 22,547 right now subscribers. He's ahead of us. We're at 2195. <laughs> um, the Legend 27, JCTV Family Vlog, um, Nat Vova. I know there's more since the last time I did shout outs because before I don't think we have enough comments to do it every night, but, um, Tuma Biebs, um, Kinley's Gr Crazy Life, Octo Octopus Records, Look Who's Blogging, um, and the Kimberly's Blowing Up Anything that has anything to do with Bridger. I, I believe she's 10. <laughs> Has a super huge crush on Bridger. Isn't that cute? She's not the first, though. We get a lot of those. Um, usually it's on her Instagram, though. I'm surprised it's not with me. <laughs> <laughs> and then she does that. Lovely Kid Japan. Um, My Green Mama. Isabel Jimenez. I said it right. Top Shelf Sounds. Liz Collins. Um, those are all of our comment shout outs. For the last little bit, for the last probably week, because I suck. Subscribers, I'm going to go down through the list. Hopefully I know I recognize new ones. Uh, Scorpion Sub Zero, Hisani Rice. I think we've already shown all these. Oh, nope. Okay. Um, Ariani Cardozo. Uh, hey, it's Jerica. Autumn Wright. Willie... Vela Velasquez, uh, Jennifer Carter, Brody Hambry, uh, Dion Lucky Salmon, Wu Grace, Hessa Alotabi, It's How You Live Life. Uh, I think I'm going to go out a week on these because I'm not sure. Uh, Monochromatic. I think that, now it's looking familiar. Angela Santos. Anyway, thank you guys for subscribing. We enjoy every one of you. Sorry, this is just a chit chat vlog. Um, I hurt. <laughs> I feel like my right side of the body, I just went to the gym. No, I just caught myself when I fell. That's all. Uh, we had a great wedding. Um, I can barely even hold on my arm. I'm sorry. And nothing exciting other than Curtis is in his sober living home tonight. His first drug test. He called to tell me he passed his very first random drug screen in the house. They do random drug screens there. He has to go to his meetings once a week to be able to live there. Um, and then he's got a roommate. And hes they basically have each other's backs. Um, and so basically the sober living home has helped so many other guys. And I am so proud. I don't know how long it's been since Curtis has passed a drug test. But... He passed. So, I don't know. I feel like we should uh, make a, a plaque or something. He deserves it. Anyways, he's struggling right now. So, if you guys are still watching, um, I'm going to ask if you believe in a higher power, God, or anybody, if you pray, please pray for Curtis. Um, he's struggling right now. He's got a serious addiction he's trying to overcome outside of jail. He's getting his self back on his feet, and he's struggling trying to figure out how he fits into this world. Um, he's trying to find a job at the moment and trying to keep himself out of trouble. He needs prayers. So if you guys could, whatever you do, I don't care. We don't care, but we would appreciate it. We love you guys. We love each and every one of you and your support. Stay limony and awesome, and we will see you tomorrow night.